Okay, so have you heard about this new AI tool from Google? Notebook LM, it's called. Yeah, it's been making the rounds, right? Yeah, and it's got this feature, audio overview. And honestly, it feels like something straight out of sci-fi, like where your notes just magically become a podcast. Yeah, you know. like talk about a time saver, especially yeah. with the sheer volume of information thrown at us these days. Exactly. It's like imagine um, you're prepping for, say, a big presentation about the future of education. Okay, I follow. You've got like articles everywhere, research papers bookmarked, your own notes scribbled all over the place. The usual, yeah. Exactly. Instead of pulling an all-nighter trying to make sense of it all, you feed it into Notebook LM. Let the AI do the heavy lifting. Right. And here's where it gets really wild. It doesn't just give you like a boring bullet point summary. It creates this whole audio conversation between these two AI hosts. Kind of like, you know, a podcast episode. I see. So it's like a podcast episode, but tailored specifically to all your notes. Exactly. Yeah. Dissecting the key points and everything. That's pretty impressive. It really taps into that whole audio learning thing. Right. I mean, think about it. There's already, what, like over 500 million people listening to podcasts? Something like that, yeah. It's huge. Exactly. So yeah. it's like Notebook LM is taking that engagement to a whole new level, especially for things like education, where, let's be real, staying updated is key. Definitely. That constant need to keep learning. Exactly. And it's not just about, you know, making research more fun or whatever. The Forbes article we're diving into today, it highlights some really interesting benefits for educators specifically. Right. Like, let's say you're, I don't know, a high school history teacher, Ms. Jismison, hmm. trying to plan a lesson about uh, the Civil War. Okay, so a pretty involved topic. Right. She could feed Notebook LM, all her stuff, textbook chapters, primary sources, historical analyses, you name it. And instead of spending hours going through it all, bam, concise audio summary, highlighting all the key events, arguments, maybe even some discussion points she can use with her students. Interesting. So it's almost like having a team of like research assistants, but, you know, AI powered. And it's not just about, you know, saving time on lesson planning. Right. Imagine Miss Johnson wants to like stay on top of all the latest research, you know, in educational right. psychology. Which, let's face it, is constantly evolving. Exactly. But she's got papers to grade and faculty meetings and, you know, she's got a life outside of school. Of course. Yeah. So with audio overview, she could be like on her commute listening to this stuff or, you know, walking her dog in the evening. Turning downtime into learning time. Exactly. It's like having a personalized PD, like a professional development podcast, just for her. That's a great way to put it, yeah. And what's really interesting to me is, like, how this tech could actually help students become better researchers themselves. Oh, tell me more about that. Well, I mean, it's one thing to read, like, a summary of an argument. Right. But it's a whole other thing to actually hear how these AI experts you know, unpack the nuances, right. like weigh different perspectives, connect the dots between different pieces of information. It's like, it's like they're getting a master class in critical thinking just by listening. That's fascinating. So it's not just giving them the information. It's like showing them how to think about the information. Yeah, exactly. And think about the students who might be like really intimidated by research or they're just not sure where to even start. Yeah, totally. This could give them that like that framework for approaching these big complex topics you know scaffolding almost exactly yeah and and let's not forget the accessibility piece right right absolutely we've been talking about b busy teachers like miss johnson yeah but what about students who are juggling like multiple classes extracurriculars maybe even a part-time job on top of everything else yeah the pressure is real for them right Imagine being able to, like, listen to a five-minute summary of a bio chapter while they're on the bus or, you know, grabbing coffee between classes. Maybe huge for their time management, yeah. And their study habits in general. Totally. Yeah. And, and the Forbes article, it brings up a really important point about, like, students with learning differences, too. Oh, absolutely. This could be a game changer for them. Right. Like, someone with dyslexia who really struggles with you know, traditional reading yeah. or a visually impaired student who needs things in an auditory format. Yeah. It's like this tech could remove those barriers. Level the playing field a bit. Exactly. And it's yeah. not even just about, you know, students with like documented disabilities. Right. Right. Think about like how many people just learn better by listening. It's true. We all have our strength. Exactly. So it really makes you wonder, you know, like what if these personalized audio summaries just like became the norm in education. That's a fascinating thought. What would that even look like? And what kind of new possibilities could it unlock? I mean, 
the potential is huge, right? It really makes you think, you know? Yeah. Like, what if instead of just hitting a wall with a tough physics problem, right. they could just, like, fire up audio overview, get a quick explanation. Almost like having a tutor on demand. Exactly. And that kind of support, I mean, especially for students who maybe don't have access to, you know, private tutors or anything like they that. That could be huge, yeah. Absolutely. Or even, think about this, students from, like, different language backgrounds. Oh, interesting. Being able to have these complex academic texts translated and then summarized, you know? Mm. Wow. Yeah. Talk about opening doors, right? Totally. <laughs> it really makes you think about how we can use this tech to make learning more, you know, equitable for everyone. Absolutely. Though, of course, like any tool, there are limitations. Oh, for sure. Like the Forbes article, it does mention this concern about over-reliance on AI. Right, becoming too dependent on it. Exactly. Like if students get too used to getting, you know, everything all neatly summarized for them, right. are they missing out on developing those critical thinking skills that come from like really grappling with the material themselves? That's a really good point. So it's about finding that balance, right? It's totally. Like educators, they need to figure out how to use these AI tools effectively. Right, right. To enhance the learning, not to replace it, you know? Absolutely. It's like... AI is a supplement, not a substitute. Exactly. Students still need to be actively engaged. 100%. It's like with anything else, right? A hammer can build a house or it can, you know. Pare it down. Exactly. <laughs> it all depends on how we use it. That is such a good point. And I think that's a great place to wrap up our deep dive into Notebook LM and this whole audio overview thing. Yeah, it's been a fascinating conversation. It really has. And I think, you know, the biggest takeaway here is that this tech... It has the potential to, like, really shake up the way we learn, yeah, you know, sure. and not just in the classroom, but, like, how we access information in general. Whether you're a student, an educator, or just someone who loves learning new things, you know, this is a game changer. So what do you think out there? Could you see yourself using audio overview? How do you think it will shape the future of education? We want to hear from you. Until next time, keep those minds curious, and we'll see you on the next Deep Dive.